Hello teachers, so today in this video we'll understand what is inclusive education but first let us discuss what is inclusion. So inclusion is actually to accept and respect each and every one in our society. We know that every individual in the society is different and unique in their own way. Inclusion is nothing but to accept these differences and respect these individuals and therefore work in collaboration and in teamwork in a society. Let us understand this with a short example. Now for example, you have your grandmother and grandparents in the house who are sometimes having difficulty in using the dining table. What do you do in a situation like this? How do you make them feel included in the house? In a situation like this, we can probably serve their food in a more comfortable seat or can serve their food in their bed or wherever they are comfortable in. In a situation like this, we do not expect them to change. Rather, we alter the environment in a way so that they feel more comfortable or included. This is nothing but inclusion. Now let us understand what is inclusive education. Inclusive education means that all the students are in the same schools and in the same classrooms irrespective of their differences. For example, these differences could be on the basis of their gender, ethnic backgrounds, different linguistic backgrounds, different developmental needs, or even any other special need. The true essence of inclusive education lies in the fact that the school molds or changes itself in a way to accommodate the differences of every child. It does not expect the child to change, rather changes itself to accommodate the needs of every child. Let us understand this with a short example. For example, there is a child studying in a Delhi government school. Now this child does not understand Hindi or English very well, which are the most predominantly spoken languages in Delhi government schools. In a situation like this, what do you think the schools should do to accommodate the child? As a first step, maybe the schools could appoint a teacher assistant who could co-teach the regular teacher in the classroom with the child. Now what will happen in a situation like this is that the assistant teacher could probably help the child translate what is going on in the classroom and therefore helping them with the regular day-to-day -day activities of the class. Therefore making it an inclusive environment for all kinds of learners. I hope you have understood what is inclusive education and now you can implement this practice in your classrooms as well. If you have any doubts or any questions you can leave them in the comment section below.